What's up guys? This is Michael with Michelin Metals and we're back for our last video of 2020. Thank you guys for tuning in and we appreciate you coming out and watching. So this will be our last one for 2020 as I said. The next video is going to be January 7th and we will be done with 2020. So thank you 2020 for nothing. You've been terrible. Can't wait to see you go. So before we get into it, most of you not really subscribed. So, bink, click it. Click that little button. Woo, can't hurt you. Click that little button, help me out. If not, maybe you could just give it a little thumbs up. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great holiday season. Let's jump in. So here we are, last video 2020. We thought we'd close with some quick explanations of some of the terms used in the production of modern specialty metals. Our series this fall was about stainless steels, nickel alloys, and cobalt alloys. Chemical analysis defines the alloy and what it can do in applications. Production of stainless and the nickel and cobalt alloys can include multiple melting and refining steps to make the alloy. Often, production starts with the melting of scrap and master alloys in an electric arc furnace, or EAF for short. Very efficient at melting, striking an arc from graphite electrodes into the scrap charge. A separate specialized unit used when needed to further refine the melt is an AOD vessel. AOD stands for argon oxygen decarburization, used for removing carbon and making chemistry adjustments to the melt. Molten metal is charged into this vessel and oxygen is blown through the melt to adjust the carbon content. Alloying elements or additional scrap components are added to adjust the chemistry and temperature to target values. An inert gas is used to remove oxygen remaining in the melt prior to casting. A heat is the term that identifies a single chemical batch of the alloy melted. A heat lot is the entire amount produced of that specific alloy. For instance, Sometimes a mill, the manufacturer of the metal, will require a very large quantity to produce a specific grade or shape because they don't normally do so. And if they do it for you, they tell you, well, you have to take the entire heat lot, which is all of the metal they produce from that billet. A heat number is the assigned identifier of that melt batch and it is typically an alphanumeric sequence assigned by the producing mill. The heat is then cast either into individual ingot molds or continuously cast through water-cooled molds. In either case, sequence within the pour is maintained as testing is often required at specific intervals within the cast to assure quality. Special molds are used to cast electrodes when a further second melt is to be employed. For critical applications, secondary or melting in a vacuum is used to further eliminate undesirable non-metallic components that can exist in the air melted and cast metal. VIM, vacuum induction melted. Induction coils provide the energy to melt the alloy within a vacuum chamber. Multiple types of secondary melting are included in the term CEM, which stands for consumable electrode melted. All melt an electrode of the alloy chemistry under conditions that eliminate dissolved gases and undesirable inclusions, and then re-solidify in a mold at the bottom of the unit. CEM is the most generic term. All of the following are included in the term CEM. CEVM stands for Consumable Electrode Vacuum Melted. VAR stands for Vacuum Arc Remelted and is a specific type of CEVM. ESR stands for Electro Slag Remelted. Here, an electrode is melted under a protective slag rather than through a vacuum. Specifications may require specific melting requirements for the alloy. 
as you probably guessed, multiple melting or vacuum processing adds a lot of cost to already expensive materials. So take a guess at what I'm going to say. It goes a little something like this. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. I think you guessed it. Check the specs. Always. And just do it twice to make sure. And so this is going to wrap up our series this year, 2021. Here we come, 2020, you dumpster fire of a year. See you later. Thanks for nothing. So if you made it this far, I know you like metal. I know you're interested in metal. Subscribe. Go ahead. Click it. If you've missed any previously, whoop, there they are. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please come back January 7th, 2021. And have a great holiday season. This is Michael with Michelin Metals. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much. Have a great year. Talk to you.